Peace and power. <laughs> Peace and power. We're back live with Radio Radio. This is episode 30. Again, that's Radio Radio on UrbanNationRadio.com. Tune in to UrbanNation.com. <laughs> UrbanNationRadio.com slash live uh, to tune in uh, 8 to 10 p.m. every Tuesday evening. Uh, this is episode 30. This is uh, your co-host, Mindful B. Coach Joe Lee. Info Key. And we're here with the uh, ultra-powerful dynamic mama of the conscious community herbal emergency preparation walking through the community pointing out herbs massage therapy everything you name it she's done it and read the book and can tell you about it and teach a class uh without further ado we got mama raven on the episode, we're, so we don't get our applause. We gotta get our applause going. Mm, our applause, but not you know, not. <laughs> no, we're supposed to have a button to just press and just say yes. <laughs> so um, we're happy to have you on the show, Mama Raven. Greetings. Um, and uh, my sons here today. Yes, yes, and uh, sons and daughters all around the world. And uh, if y'all, if y'all, uh, for those of you that don't know, you can find Mama Raven on Facebook. Raven Regina, all one word, R A V I N, Regina, R E G I N A, Lawson, L A W S O N. She's always sharing positive information on uh, health consciousness and herbs and and just, I mean, everything you need to know about being prepared for self sufficiency and self sustainability. And so, um, again, we said this is the 30th episode. Uh, it's been a long time coming. We've been wanting to have her on the show for a while to share the knowledge that she has. So now we got you. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she's being very bashful right now. But <laughs> once you hear her um, accomplishments and some of the things that she did, just a small list. Um, and I'm actually going to, for the coach, if you could. No problem. Uh, go ahead and read off uh, the shows. Uh, this is this is the title is uh, Meet My Mama. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to read the more about Mama Raven section, and she's the owner of the Herbal Healing Huts, herbalist, vegan chef, wellness master teacher, massage therapist, preparedness researcher, and if that wasn't enough, she's also a seasoned model. When it comes to wellness and preparedness, Mama Raven has seen it all, done it all, and can tell the story. Her famous walks on the riverfront identifying the edible herbs and medicinal plants have raised awareness and readiness of each of her students. So she uh, doesn't just talk it, she lives it. And every single day. I mean, from her, her, from her home, her home is a class. Everything you look at is, is a teaching tool. And she'll tell you. I mean, she, you can see her setup. So we're going to get into that. Uh, and I just want to talk a little bit about how we got introduced to Mama Raven and, and um and just share our first experiences with Mama Raven. Uh, I'm going to let Info Keith go first. He usually breaks it in. <laughs> well, my first experience was the um, preparedness seminar that we did for um, the elders and the seniors at the uh, the apartment. Mm -hmm. And that was my first encounter. But <laughs> we had food and everything then, raw food and all of that. So it was actually amazing. We got some of that today <laughs> for those who are in studio. <laughs> And uh, you can tell them a little bit more about that. I know you want to share about the garlic. Go ahead. I just seven o'clock. I usually eat garlic. <laughs> and that's what I just have to say. Mm -hmm. Greetings. Go ahead. <laughs> oh well, we actually had a um, a seminar for the elderly because a lot of times uh, during emergency situations, um, the most vulnerable are the children and the elderly and pets. So we uh, wanted to equip. Um, some of our seniors and elders with some of the knowledge that could help them uh, be better equipped to um, survive uh, an emergency situation. Mm -hmm. So we just gave them like a two-hour lecture, um, you know, interactive lecture, not just us talking, but at us, you know, dialoguing back and forth with um, the participants. And uh, we just taught them a lot of different things about, you know, how to obtain water, just... Uh, how to be prepared, really, in in case of an emergency. Excellent. Brother Kojo, you want to share your uh, first experience, interaction? 
Um, my, my first experience was actually at a Kwanzaa event um, last last winter. Um, it was the Cooperative uh, Economics mm -hmm. um, Ujima Ujima event. Yeah. And um, again, it was also at the Senior Citizen um, Facility, and um, I just remember just her humbleness and, and not wanting to say much, but when she came up to, to speak, it was just profound. It was so, um, blow your mind. I, I just appreciate uh, just being able to be adjacent. You're to so something. kind. You're so kind. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still I'm still in the process of getting more familiar, so I'm I'm grateful to have this opportunity. Most definitely, and um, and so my hmm, I probably should have thought about this first before I asked the question. My first experience with Mama Raven. Um, I know we were doing, she, she was doing some, um, some classes, uh, some classes at the loft teaching, um, Danielle and a few of the other people. Danielle was one of the doulas that came on a few weeks ago. Um, she was teaching us basically about working in the kitchen and doing, doing a lot of, uh, health classes and teaching people about basically just living vegetarian lifestyle, you know, and, and that in the form of food and preparing lovely meals for, for us down at the loft. And uh, that kind of bridged the gap between us doing the first Ujamaa experience, which was 2013. Yes. 2013. And so now this year we're working on, the, oh, this is, this is going to be the third, the third annual one. And we think about branching out and doing some, doing some, some ones, but you know, bringing Kwanzaa around more, more, more times in the year. So, yeah, that that whole experience, the Ujamaa experience, was was like, was like, you know, n like nothing we've ever seen before in our community. You know, people being able to come and get, uh, you know, vegan food, vegetarian food, and be able to experience uh, a, a myriad of things that are going on in the community, and then be able to have the elders uh, basically schooling us. But being open to you know learning what the what the new twist of, to it is, so that's one of the things I really love about Mama Raven. She's always teaching me, but she's humble and receptive as well. So yeah, that's my first experience, and um, you know I've been on the herbal walking talks and chat and chews, and I like to think of myself as one of the apprentices, even though she beats me up a lot. But it's all in love. I am still you. <laughs> <laughs> so um. I'm going to read the title of today's show, which I did, which I did before, which is um, Meet My Mama. <laughs> and that's all of our mamas. Yes. Um, our special guest um, will be Mama Raven Regina. Um, from her famous chat and chews to her informative herbal healing walk and talks on the river walk, Mama teaches everybody um, every day emergency preparedness and nutrition. Uh, so let's find out some life-saving resources uh, that might be all around us. Um, how has preparedness changed over the years? What's the same? What makes Detroit unique about preparedness? And what are the references um, that she will share? And how do we uh, find the next chat and chew? Some of the things that we're going to be talking about, as you can see, we already have kind of a display. So um, with that being said, uh, we'll have a little time for you to tell us how you got started on this path, Mama Raven. Okay. Just a couple years ago. A couple years ago. Huh. Well, I'm Mama Raven. My name is Regina. Um, <laughs> this journey started when I was seven. Um, I'm a daughter of a butcher. That's deep. <laughs> is that why you became a vegetarian? I don't think that was why. It was just that I could never swallow meat. Mm -hmm. And um, being a daughter of a butcher, of course, at that time, they would have said we had the best of the best of a, of a cow or whatever. But uh, when my parents would um, put this type of food in front of me, I would, they would put it in my mouth. And literally, my mother had to put it in my mouth. But I could never um, digest it. I would chew it. But when she would leave the table, because, you know, back in my day, the, in the 50s, the um, parents would eat at one table and the children at another. So when they would leave the table, I'd spit it out. Until I got wise around age seven or eight, I started taking it to the toilet and I would flush it. But then <laughs> I started clogging up the toilet. <laughs> so I wound up getting a butt whooping every day. But then um, finally when I reached 
age 16, my parents gave me a liberation day. <laughs> and the first thing I said, you will never put meat in my mouth again. And that's when that all started, when I was 16. So I'm 65 now, and so I've, uh, I'll be 66 in May. So I guess for about, y'all do the math, I can't think that fast right now, but about, what, 50? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. About 50 years. 50 years now, yeah. I haven't uh, actually um, eaten any meat or put anything in my mouth that I saw. It's actually closer to 60. I mean, it's, you know. <clears throat> yeah. On this path. Yeah. And so uh, we're going to take a, um, a quick break and then come back and get more into uh, this journey um, and, you know, what is the, you know, herbal healing huts, the chat and chews, um, what is this beautiful display you have for us? And uh, so we're going to get more into that uh, after these messages. Peace and power. This is Radio Radio. Uh, tap the person next to you and tell them, like Radio Radio and Urban Nation Radio. We'll be mm -hmm. right back. Mm -hmm. 